Welcome to question 53 of the JavaScript interview series. Today we will answer the question, what are symbols in JavaScript? So symbols are unique and immutable primitive types introduced in ES6. Let's understand how to create them. So we'll first create a variable on chess one and we will use the symbol function. Okay. Now, keep in mind, we can pass a descriptor within it. This could be anything over here I'm writing ID, but realistically you could pass any kind of string. But remember, this thing is completely optional. Even if you don't pass it, it is completely okay. Let's see how that looks in the console. So as you can see, we get symbol. Okay. One reason why you would might want to pass a descriptor is because that shows over here. And if you, let's say, have another symbol, okay, with, let's say, a different ID, sorry, product ID. Okay, and if you try logging that, okay, they both will show differently in the console. So it will be easier for you when you debug it. Another thing to keep in mind is two symbols can never be the same. Okay, so over here, if I do something like S1, strict equality has to, it will always be false. So will you be using symbols as much as the other data types in JavaScript? No, but is this asked in JavaScript interviews? Definitely, yes. Its main use case is to create unique and kind of hidden keys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more. Drop a like if you found this video helpful and do take a look at my JavaScript interview playlist.